What was Igbe thinking when she uh, arrives the palace with two policemen to arrest Queen Naomi? My people, welcome back to my channel. It is a girl, Life Just Plus. I don't bring another hot and spicy news though. This story eh, is very funny and at the same time is not funny. Because Ibi behaved like someone who took eyes, like who is on drugs, who is on colors. Because you cannot tell me why she will go and use her two left legs, walk into a police station in another state, not even in Lefe, in Ogun State, carry them and come to the palace to arrest Queen Naomi. Please subscribe to my channel, my people, to my returning subscribers. You guys are my real thing. I appreciate you all so. Yes. Now, the information we are getting now is that Igbe went to arrest Queen Naomi. Yes, they said she arrested Queen Naomi. Actually, it's not as if she almost, she arrested, said she brought two policemen at the palace. Why? Queen, and they targeted Queen Naomi. Why Queen Naomi was coming inside the palace? And Ibi ordered them to arrest Queen Naomi and gave her allegation that she, he is after her husband, that she is a side chick. And these uh, police uh, people are from Ogun State. And, you know, before police can arrest someone in another state, they will have to take permission from the state. So they're already taking permission from Ilefe. Because if it's Ilefe police, they will not arrest. They will not make that arrest because they should know the person that is involved. But this Ogun State, they didn't know. You know, some of them are not current in current affairs. So they allegedly followed Antibi to come and arrest Queen Naomi. They arrested Queen Naomi, took Queen Naomi away, took her phones and everything. So they said uh, it was uh, the, this thing, security guards, they were shouting that this is KBS's wife, -o. this is the king's wife. -o. You know, police people, they have to do what they ordered them to do. So my people, they said, as they were on their way, the security already uh, alerted KBA, said that look at what is happening. They called KBA CPA. KBA CPA told KBA I don't know where KBA C went to. They said immediately, KBA C started calling. Oh, connection is good. There is, it's good to have connection, my people. Eh? Try to get connect. They said immediately, KBA C started calling DPO at Ogun State. That's also thing happened. They should tell their boys, communicate everybody <coughs> on the road that they are going to stop uh, any vehicle and check the one that has Queen Naomi inside. You know, when they said they carried Queen Naomi, my heart skipped. I said, are you sure this is a normal police? Are you sure this is used as in, if it's police, we don't have a problem. They can always find Queen Naomi. But let it not be people that disguise themselves as police. So my heart was skipping when I heard this thing, but I already know that if that there is no how, Ibi will, will carry people that that uh, fake themselves, maybe carry fake policemen, because she will, she will answer a kidnap law number one. She will answer. She's answerable to kidnapping, and you know, everybody in the palace has seen her that she came with police. So there's no how she will do that way, way we are thinking. Because I was thinking, hey, this one that make it not be seen a kidnapper, so. But no, she's not good. They no born her well to try it, since her face showed that she came to carry Queen Naomi with some two police. So, so uh, we heard that they are real policemen actually, but not from Ilefe. So KBC started contacting people, contacted the DPO and they contacted people on the road. And KBC ordered them that once they get Queen Naomi, when they get his wife, that two of them are actually his wife, but one is on Colos, he's always on Colos. So when they get both of them, then they should be able to uh, arrest the arrester, the one that arrested, then they should tell them where they are so that he can send in Centora to go and carry Queen Naomi. So my people, power pass power. They started making calls. Then finally, on the way, they had to stop them. You know, I think Ibi is should be educated enough to know that KBAC has a lot of connections. That Queen Naomi will not even sleep in the palace. And it was later we heard that uh, uh, she, what her plan is that Queen Naomi will sleep in the, in the station, in the cell. That that is her plan. And the allegation she levered against Queen Naomi is not just only to be a side shiku, my people. Ah, wait, I go just you now. 
So when they got them on the road heading to uh, Ogun State, so Kabi is now ordered them that they should release Queen Naomi and they uh, arrest uh, Ibi. Yeah, but then the policemen say that they will not do like that. Understand that they will hold both of them. And when KBAC comes or send anybody, then all of them will go to the station and let them understand the statements that EB has to write for them to go and uh, arrest Queen Naomi. So my people, they said, okay, the KBAC started making moves, sending uh, the PA to go after, to go and know what is wrong. So they said the PA got there and they went straight to Ogun State Police Station to read the, le the allegations. <laughs> because the police the police on duty said that so many allegations were labeled uh, against uh, so many statements, so many allegations in the statements. You know, when they now got to Ogun State, uh, the KBSU was still in control over the phone. The PA was there and they were talking, you know. So they said uh, they brought out the statement that Ibi wrote. <laughs> Ibi's plan will not work. Oh. Her plan will not work. See, I told the people her plan is just for Queen Naomi to sleep. He, she knows that Kabiesi would still rescue Queen Naomi. But she just wants Queen Naomi to sleep in the cell. Maybe by the time that Kabiesi would find out, uh, Queen Naomi would already be sleeping in the cell. You know, so that they, they will not say, okay, they have closed police station. That it is tomorrow that they can bail anybody. That is just her plan. Because they said as she came, she was ranting before the security guards that she's going to make life reason, uh, uh, unbearable. She's going to make life miserable for Queen Naomi and Kabiesi. Since they have planned to ruin her marriage. That that is what she wrote, even wrote on, on a statement. That this woman is a, an ex who has gone before. And she now came to steal her man, to steal her husband from her. And because of her, her husband pursued her out of the house. And the woman was also feeding uh, feeding her Ibi's mom, like her. Ibi, Ibi said, uh, according to what we heard, that Squinomi was now feeding the mom with poison. He was feeding her with some things that she almost uh, by the woman. That they, she, Konomi gave the woman, uh, her mother, a lot of things with that she ate and she almost spied that it was she that rushed to the hospital and they claimed that the hospital now said it was a uh, food poison. My people, nothing will Musa no go see for it. So because uh, Konomi helped and see more, that is why she has entered this problem. Eh? The problem now, they now tell her that she wants to buy with a... Uh, and Ibi now tell that uh, she wants to buy her mom just because of the help she rendered. Hmm. My people, you know, a lot of people were... The day I posted about that uh, help, that... Uh, and Ibi rendered to... Uh, Queen Naomi rendered to Aunt Ibi's mom. People were already condemning the act, say that she shouldn't help, that she would have left. But Queen Naomi is such a person who is uh, kind-hearted. She wouldn't see such a thing. And let the woman continue to cry because we heard she was moved to tears. So she believed the woman so much, my people. So it was now this because of this thing now that Queen Naomi, uh, Dr. Antigbi labeled uh, allegation against Queen Naomi, saying that uh, Queen Naomi fed her mom with a lot of a lot of food poison that made her mom almost died. That she went to the hospital too cure her mom that and uh, Queen Naomi is a side chick that uh, an ex who left and wanted to ruin her marriage so my people they said uh, when KBC spokesman after uh, reviewing all that all that you know so they started making investigation and found out that uh, uh, auntie Queen Naomi never gave the woman any edible so there was no how because they said the woman said the truth that Kwenomi did not give her anything edible. He only gave her some money. Yes. So my people, they said, um, Ibi wanted to be retained in the cell. But they said, Kabiesi said, they should let her be. They should just let her go. Let her carry her frustration and go. So my people, um, I don't know if what Kabiesi did, Kabiesi's decision is okay at this moment by saying Ibi should be let go. Or I prefer that she would have let Ibi test that cell sleeping at the end in, in the cell that she wanted Queen Naomi to test at least let her test it and see as it be. So my people in the matter comment on this.
please do not forget to give the video a thumbs up and don't forget that all these are alleged information. Please stay on the line. I'll bring you more updates. Thank you.